seem to take a step out Get some in now, let so edge out To some ice, but you'll be heavy in my mind Can you get the heck? Good morning, y'all. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Marley Marche and we are back with another video. So today's video is either going to be a weekend vlog or just to spend a day with me. I don't know what I'm gonna do today and tomorrow or just today. However, we are currently in Atlanta. We are about to head to brunch. We're at another Broken Egg. If y'all have never been there before, go there. It's literally the best brunch spot ever. If y'all know something better, comment down below and let me know. Honey, grass now, drop me bum you so you so you baby 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 from my empty mind since i want pancakes but i want i know but what am i gonna try that's new It's your first bite eating something non pancake. Okay, first bite, what do you rate it? It's a little salt and pepper, so I'm gonna give it a nine. How was your food? I'm mean, gonna you see it. Mm -hmm. It was all right. Yeah, it's probably like two out of 10, that's crazy. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, I just got the food. We tip, by the way, a little $10, you know, so add to our check. Make sure you tip the waitress out there, because they be, they be slaving and they don't get paid nothing but tips. Um, natural salts also for um, dish cleaning as alternatives. Um, we have some body scrubbers. Um, you see her? What yes, am I, I doing first? Okay, so just cup your hands I'll and then she gonna need a little bit of water. Okay. <laughs> the good thing about our body scrub is that it's three in one. So it exfoliates, it moisturizes, and the essential oils give aromatherapy. It feels amazing. <laughs> so on a scale of one to ten, how how would you rate your experience? On a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna say a ten out of ten. Yeah. It smells so good, and I'm so soft. Yeah. Hello. Okay, what do we have here? Sea moss lemonade. Your body needs a hundred and two today. Also great for children as well. That is so good. If you want to be me, just say that. They have these really cute crop tops in like different colors for 10 bucks, but I'm not comfortable with crop tops yet. The body. I don't know. I don't know how I would look in a car shop. I'm still a little self-conscious about my postpartum body. So I don't think I'm gonna get anything out of the store. I'm gonna go somewhere to get like graphic tees. Cause I'm not seeing any in here. Maybe like Forever 21 is probably where I'll go. That is On the road to 1K subscribers, y'all. We just got a new one. So we are now in Forever 21. I need some cute little shirts. So that's really what I'm trying to find. I really need some shorts 
too now that I think about it. It's so hot outside. I'm getting over my fear of crop tops, y'all. This is my body. I have to live with it. So I got two shirts. They are both crop tops. The, this one is a little bit bigger than the green, orange one. So we'll see. I'm a little nervous. I'm nervous, y'all. I don't, I don't like my postpartum body for real, but this is me. This is who I am. It is what it is. I'm not even gonna lie, it is so hot out here. You gotta be like a thousand degrees for real. This ought to be unacceptable. I'm looking for somewhere to stop and get something to drink because I'm so freaking hot. I know the kids are hot. Then after this, Trey, where are we going after this? We going a little five points, which means more walking, more heat. I might gotta take this dress off. I need to be out here walking in the baby suit, it's so hot. Where are we at today? We're killing to Lake Station. Okay, okay. Where where in the Lake Station do we gotta come to come get this? You need to be on the back side, okay. the side of AT&T, and a couple of uh, blocks down is Publix, and on this side is the Angry Crab Shack, so we're situated right in between. How long y'all been in business? Um, less than two months. Okay, it's a new okay. endeavor for us, but we're excited. Okay, we very good, very good. excited about being a part of creating an atmosphere of happiness and enjoyment. Come test out our chocolate fudge and ice cream. Ice cream, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, 10 it's out of so 10, good. all right. If, what's your favorite thing to eat in this store? Mm, there's too many options. I can't narrow down. Mm. I mean, I might be in the mood for a caramel apple today. I might be in the mood for a dip Twinkie tomorrow. A dip, always dip milkshake, Twinkie. Always Woo! ice cream. Okay, okay. My last question. If you give somebody a life tip right now, what would it be? Life is too short. Enjoy every single day. Make the most of it. Make the most of it. That's what I like to hear. Hey, what you doing? What's your name? My name is Kimberly. This oh. is Kilman's Black Owned. The owner is with Atlantic Station. The owner is Erica and Christopher. What is your favorite thing to eat in the store? Oh goodness, the sea salt caramel apple, sea salt caramel fudge, and sea salt ice cream. If you can give anybody a life tip right now, what would it be? Just try to do what they want to do and be the best at it. Mm. That's what I like to hear. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Oh my boy, what's your name? My name is Mark. Mark, yes, what do you do here? Uh, the caramel, the fudges, the popcorns, the brittles. Everything chocolate. Yeah. Like, if you tell me your favorite thing in the store, what would it be? Uh, the apple pie apples. Man. Apple pie. Chocolate apple pie or just regular apple pie? It's, um, it's the caramel apples, uh, but it got, it's dipped in white chocolate with, um, with sugar and cinnamon on it. It's actually right here in the case. These ones right here. Yeah, those ones look nice. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like your ice cream? What flavor is it? Say Superman. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, we made it to Little Five Points, but I didn't even get out the car. I'm supposed to be out there shopping, looking for some more clothes. However, this girl fell asleep, and if she was sleepy, there was no point in taking Mason out the car because I did not want to wake her up. Yeah, this is her first nap today, and it's 2.47. I think the heat gave me a headache. That's why I don't go outside when it's hot outside. I don't know if we're going back home or if we're doing something else. That concludes today's adventures. Um, my Leah's head is hurting. It hurts so bad. Don't know what's going on, but we'll figure it out at the end of the day. Um, yeah, man, we just out here. We living. Had a fun day. You enjoyed yourself? Yeah, I had fun. Great. Good morning, y'all. So it is now Sunday. We got home around 4.30 last night, yesterday evening or whatever. And I literally slept until 10 p.m. Like my head just would not stop hurting. So I didn't do anything for the rest of the day yesterday. However, we are about to head to church. I'm already dressed. Malia is dressed and she's in there watching Caillou. All I have to do is get a little bag dressed and then we're going to head out for church. <laughs> Since we got home.
home from church, y'all. I have not been doing nothing but college homework. I have been doing homework all day. I currently am taking my algebra class, my college algebra. This is all of the work I've done today, except for them two up there. I didn't do those two. I just went back and checked my work. But I did this one, this one, this one, this one. I have a quiz I'm doing right now, a midterm guy, and the midterm all due by midnight. The rest of the night is probably just what I'm going to be doing is homework. I have Mason sitting on the couch. Malia, I'm going to give her the iPad so she can um, watch something because her favorite cousin <laughs> just left. So now she has nothing to do but to get on Mason's nerves. <laughs> Congratulations to me. As nervous as I was, y'all, I did good. I'm so proud of me. It took, let's see, an hour and 20 minutes or 17 questions. But I took my time and I got a 92% on my first midterm ever. Nervous, yes. But I did a good job. We're going to celebrate. I was, I drank this, what, the other day? Open this? I don't know. Mmm. This is so good, 10 out of 10.